Frontline Updates, where we delve deep into military strategies and updates from conflict zones. Today, we're discussing the progress of the ongoing special military operation as of July 18, 2024. I'm your host, Sharifa Muhammad MGT. I'm Colonel A.C. Ogentoy, an infantry officer. Tactical advances, Russian units in different sectors, North, West, Southern, Center, and Vostok, have reported advancing their positions, repelling Ukrainian counterattacks, and targeting Ukrainian military brigades effectively. Welcome to the Frontline Updates podcast. Today, we are joined by Colonel A.C. Ogentoye for an update on the progress of the Special Military Operation on July 18, 2024. Colonel, thank you for joining us today. Thank you for having me. It's important to keep the public informed about the developments on the ground. Let's dive right in. Could you start by summarizing today's major developments in the operation? The Russian armed forces continue to press forward with the special military operation. Today, we've seen significant engagements primarily in the Donetsk People's Republic and the Kharkov region. Our forces have successfully advanced, repelling multiple counterattacks and inflicting heavy losses on Ukrainian forces. Can you detail the outcomes in the northern sectors from today's engagements? In the north, particularly around Volchensk, Lipsy, and Storitsa, our troops engaged the 57th Motorized Infantry Brigade and other Ukrainian units, defeating their manpower and equipment. We repelled two aggressive counterattacks by the 92nd Assault Brigade, resulting in significant Ukrainian losses, including artillery and vehicles. What about the Western Front? What has transpired there? On the Western Front, our troops have consolidated more advantageous positions. They faced formations from the 21st, 60th, and 115th Mechanized Brigades of the Ukrainian Armed Forces. The Ukrainian side suffered up to 520 casualties and lost several key pieces of military hardware, including artillery mounts and an electronic warfare station. We also destroyed six ammunition depots, which will certainly impact their operational capabilities. Moving south, what developments can you report? In the southern regions, our forces have been very active in offensive operations, particularly around Maximilianovka and Chesov Yar. The engagements there resulted in the defeat of the 24th, 54th, and other mechanized brigades of the Ukrainian armed forces, with losses amounting to 540 military personnel and several armored vehicles. We also struck effectively in counterbattery engagements, neutralizing multiple artillery systems and electronic warfare stations. With such extensive operations, could you comment on the air defense and artillery effectiveness today? Our air defense and artillery have played crucial roles today. They successfully engaged and destroyed a military airfield's infrastructure and shot down a Ukrainian MiG-29 aircraft, among other achievements. Our capabilities to counter enemy air assets have been demonstrated robustly with the downing of multiple unmanned aerial vehicles and MR systems. Lastly, can you provide an update on the naval activities reported today? Yes, our Black Sea Fleet has been active as well, destroying 10 unmanned boats. This action helps secure our naval dominance in the Black Sea and protects our strategic interests along the coastline. Finally, Colonel, can you provide an insight into the total impact of the operation since it began? Again, since the operation began, we have achieved significant results in reducing the enemy's capabilities. We've destroyed hundreds of aircraft, helicopters, and thousands of unmanned aerial vehicles, along with a substantial number of tanks, armored vehicles, and artillery systems. This has been crucial in limiting the enemy's operational flexibility and capacity. Colonel, thank you for providing such a detailed briefing on the current military situation. Your insights are invaluable to our understanding of the conflict's dynamics. And thank you to our listeners for tuning in. Join us next time as we continue to provide up-to-date coverage on global military affairs. Stay with us for more updates and expert analyses on global defense and security issues. Stay informed, stay secure. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to share this information. It's crucial for understanding the complexities of these operations. And what is happening in Gaza is going down as the most documented genocide in history.